Yeah, those will, those two before. Support me? Uh, I don't know. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what could happen? Yeah, right.
So guys, the footage of uh, us putting the sawmill and the tractor in the shed was actually a couple of, couple of days ago and at, as we were pulling the sawmill and everything into the shed, uh, it actually started drizzling a little bit. I don't think we got a whole lot of rain that day, but we got a good bit of rain or a fair amount of rain this morning and it's just been kind of drizzly and nasty all day. So as you can see, we didn't, have, <laughs> we didn't, we got it up with not a minute to spare, not a minute too soon. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see there uh, over on this side right here, the tongue is real, real close to the edge there, which kind of throws off the centering of the mill. Unfortunately, the best thing would be just to be able to move that winch up and down the mill, but I can't do that. So I think what I'm going to do is try to come out with maybe another sheet of tin on this other edge uh, and maybe make some kind of a gable or whatever you might call it uh, on the end there just, to, just so I can move the, the sawmill up a little bit. Let me know y'all's ideas about that. Y'all may have a better idea. Um, also, uh, it's, the mill is 
relatively dry, but you know how blowing rain kind of does. Uh, it is getting some, uh, some sprinkly water on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm planning on closing in the back of the shed, just walling it up with some boards. And I, I think that that'll prevent the wind from blowing it too bad onto uh, into the front right there. And it'll certainly prevent it from coming into the back. Um, so uh, either way, we have made a massive, massive improvement here. This, this sawmill is now pretty well out of the weather. Uh, the tractor was out of the weather anyway, but now I've got an extra. Now I've got an extra shelter that I can use for for whatever else. But uh, I'm I'm happy with it. This was a good project, and it wasn't particularly expensive either. I had the tin on hand already. Um, I milled that those two big beams, and I milled all the lumber. The telephone poles were free. Of course, I had to buy screws, and Howard uh, I had to um, pay Howard to help me work as well. And uh, besides that, I mean, you know, we did all the labor and it, it's, it was very inexpensive to build this shed. And of course, sheds are pretty easy anyway. So, uh, you know, it went up, went up relatively easy. There were some challenges, of course, with that big beam and, and that kind of stuff. But um, we, we got it done and I'm really happy with it. We're going to make some more improvements to it to get it the way I want it. But, you know, the foundation is laid and, uh, you know, I think we're, I think we're in pretty good shape here. But anyhow, I appreciate y'all following this little project, and I uh, will see y'all next time. <laughs> that was almost bad news, Howard. Huh?